Hi everyone, Patchman21 back with another luscious unboxing and today it's going to be launch box. Bullseye. Box. Launch box. The OKS. Well I've left it in the bag because I can feel a t-shirt or, or something like attached outside so uh, this comes in, it's bloody expensive, this comes in at around £31, so you've know, got the figures over there, um, that's the box and the delivery, and I get bank charges on top of that, around about £1, £1.50. So it comes in around about £32, quid, £32.50. So I'm going to um, put the figures up on that side, showing you what I've paid for it at a minus value. And as the box gathers value, it will become a plus, hopefully become a plus. If it remains as a minus value, then the box isn't worth it. And to be honest, I'm having massive second thoughts about this box. It is so expensive to get it. It comes from Spain. So, yep, yeah, there we go. So there's just the Avengers t-shirt on there. So um, let's look at it. I mean, it's a medium, so it won't fit me, which is okay. That's actually not too bad. But it's not Avengers, is it? It's, who is it? Wonder Woman? I don't know. Cross on the boat. W. Rats, what is this? Westworld. It's Westworld. Of course it's Westworld. Look at it. It's got a figure in it. I'm being an idiot. Nothing to do with Avengers. Just sort of slightly A-shaped figure and that was me done. So, yeah, it's Westworld. I don't know if these things are themed. If they are, um, lovely. If they're not, lovely. So there we go, nice t-shirt, good quality, it is a, um, sorry, I'm going to bring the label around, it just says W when it doesn't uh, say the manufacturer, which I don't really, doesn't really matter, does it? It doesn't really matter at all, as long as the shirt's okay. I actually really like that, this is totally one I would have worn, um, I like the cut of its jib. Anyway, let's crack on with the rest of the box, so t-shirts come out, it's very nice, although I can't wear it, and we are going to open up, official seal. Is that, even, is that even focusing? There you go. We've got an official seal. It's usually just a bit of sellotape. So here we go. Break the official seal and launch into a rather rattly launch box. So we've got the t-shirt. So it looks like there's one of these weird half and half figures. Deathstroke desiccated vinyl art figure. Justice League America blah blah blah. Oh, I've got one of these. I've got the Wonder Woman one of these. Um, not really into them. I think it's way too gimmicky. XX ray. It's just what can we possibly do to be slightly different from Funko or whatever. So they come up with this nonsense. And there he is. Uh, and he's got a little accessory, a little gun. A little gunlet. I'm not going to take him out. How am I? Am I going to take him out? Is he actually sealed? What do you reckon, kids? Should we take him out? Oh, I want to take him out so badly. I'm just rip on him a little bit but done it. so much packaging we've got front cover back cover a little little gun I mean does he can he hold it I don't think he can you know I think that gun is just just there just an affectation God damn it, a lot of work for that. There you go, there he is. Oh, obviously stick him on the spinny thing now, I've ripped him out of his box. That gun's a little bit of a weird, bit of a disappointment. A little tiny gun, but am I missing something? Does it go in his hand? Well, there you go, we can put it in his hand. At least I'm not gonna lose it for at least a day, maybe a day and a half. If I'm very lucky. Get all of this crap out of the way. There we go. Right, so we've got one of these half and half figures, these XX ray figures, which, as I've said, I'm not really too enamoured with. It's just, I mean, I understand, you know, you've got to have a coming nerve, big gimmicky, and all the rest of it, but um, yeah, it's just, just an odd thing to do. I suppose you're just desperately, desperately trying to be different. So they put something like that together. He's not even going to stand up, so screw him. <clears throat> and now we have a uh, Mad Balls horror and sci-fi series. Collect them all. Predator. Squeezy. 
stressy, stressy ball. It's a predator stress ball. Look at him. Look at him de-stressing me. He's not, is he? I'm still stressed a bit. It's a stress ball. Stress ball. Okay. Um, muscle figures from Aliens. So there you go. There's usually about three of the fellas in there. And again, not going to get them out. These all will probably go on the uh, on sale. So I can see a few well-known characters in there, but they're, they're, these I didn't even know these were still floating around, to be honest. We have a nice keychain. Yeah, a keychain. It's an Avengers keychain, a very weighty Avengers Infinity Wars keychain. It's a nice brassy looking thing there. So that's quite sexy i'm quite pleased with that and there's thanos with the uh, with the with the mitten of death okay so uh, so that's that and of course as with all of these boxes a weird chip and this one's got westworld on it uh i see a, a, a thing here which tells you everything that was in it and what do you know everything that's in it was in it so there we go i think the only change would be uh, that could have been deathstroke or black manta <clears throat> so I really looked out by getting um, Deathstroke. That was just just a super bonus. Um, for thirty one quid, I know. I'm, again, I'm. I don't do the prices, then discuss the prices. I do the prices, and then I discuss. I discuss what I've got. The price can or sometimes won't reflect my feelings on these things. On this, I've. These are some choice items. Don't get me wrong; they're nice. Um, I mean, this is good quality, it's well packaged. This is this fantastic little kit. Um, T-shirt was good. I mean, these these are a little bit fillery sort of nonsense, but you know it's okay. But the whole feel of it doesn't feel right to me. I feel I probably shouldn't, but I do feel a little bit put off by what we've received in this box. Um, anyway, tell me what you think in the comments. Do you think I should continue with this, or should I give it a miss? And again, at thirty-two pounds plus every month it's what it is one of the more expensive monthly boxes so um i don't know am i getting something that i wouldn't get from another box i don't think so there's no exclusivity it's all stuff off the shelf the only thing that's different is this i'm yeah i'm up in the air on this one um patchy points five and a half again remember patchy points is just an arbitrary value i throw around i could say well actually two or 76 doesn't really matter but i just think i just got a feeling of a vibe of 5.5 off this box um i do like the chain the chain will go through the key chain will go straight up on my board these and these i have no use for whatsoever i mean that isn't good enough to display I, do you collect these do you paint them i've got no clue um this is my second one of these so now i'm a collector and that's it. The chips, um, you can't pin them on anything, you can't stick them on anything. Um, I suppose you could um, glue them to something, get a bit of blue tack, but yeah, a weird, a weird thing. Different, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it is a bit of a weird thing. So that was a bit of a rant, wasn't it? A bit of a bit of a patchy overload rant there. Um, okay, tell me what you think. I've already said that. Um, remember, you've got to subscribe. If you don't subscribe, I will probably give up my day job. Okay, so you must do it. Uh, like, share, uh, hit the notification bell if you can find it. I've looked for it. I can't find it. I think it's over there somewhere. Might be down there or there. But just give it a whack and um, and, and it'll go ding. And I hear it in my uh, in my breakfast nook, and then I come running to the phone and answer it. That was just weird. Yeah, let's move on and do this. Okay, today's patchy fact is uh, on the top of Mount Everest is a small golden teapot filled with frozen tea. <sighs> Why do I keep doing this? Anyway, I've been Patchman21. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye now.